Hey guys, I am back for another video. Hold on. Yeah. I am back for another video. We are continuing on with the Escape Plan movies. We're doing Escape Plan 2. And then after this video, I'm going to do uh, my first villains I love. And I can't I can't wait to do that. That, one, that one's going to be fun. And then tomorrow, um, I'm going to review um, Robin Hood Men in Tights. I'm Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry, guys. Did I close the window? But I will um, be reviewing Robin Hood Men in Tights tomorrow. I'll probably actually watch it again. Even though I watched it last week, I have no problem watching it again. It's that good of a movie. So, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. But today, Escape Plan 2. I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the first one. But this one is like... I think the problem I had it was it was too much going on, I think. Like... The simplicity of that first escape plan, and I think that's sometimes the problem with a lot of action movie sequels, is sometimes they overcomplicate it, and it just, I felt like that's what we got in this. It just, it was too over, overly complicated. It just, but I will say this, it was a fun, like, B-movie in the sense, it was an hour and a half, you got to see Stallone kick some ass, you got some solid fight scenes, especially from uh, the shoe character, and his brother Yushin, I gonna be fucking with some names up but yeah like i thought you know the, the the fight scenes were fun it's just not a like i guess not a good story but sometimes you know there's nothing wrong with just a fun action movie and i think that's what this was you know so I would, I would give this a seven it was a fun action movie batista was pretty fun and it has a uh, trent so like overall it was pretty good and stallone so it did its job so pretty much the premise is Basically, um, Ray Breslin now has his own, like, a, a whole new team. And Kimbral uh, was one of the new members who, uh, like, he fucks up a mission, gets let go. But then, um, Shu, one of, um, uh, Ray's operatives has to go save and help his brother. They get kidnapped and taken to Hades, basically this prison where they're forced to fight each other and basically it's all this like um like this whole subplot with Yu Shang and his company going on but basically Ray and all of them have to rescue them and get out like so basically that's, I, I do like the, the parts where the, this kind of prison is basically where the inmates are forced to fight each other so I thought some of those scenes like where the inmates beat up on Yu Shang and um not Yu Shang Shu and um I don't remember the other character but I thought that scene was pretty sad. And same with Ray when he got beat up. Like, he just, they, they got jumped by the other game, like, by the other inmates. Like, I thought stuff, those scenes were cool. It was just, I thought the story just wasn't as simple as that first one. You know, where Ray Breslin is just breaking in a, into, um, into a prison. Like, I, they, I guess he does do that in this, but it probably should have just been him from the jump. Though Shu was a fun character, it just, I felt like we were we, we it didn't feel like a Stallone film this time around. I felt like he was just kind of there. So I, I guess if I had to say my criticism is that, and the story just was a bit all over the place. They should have just kept the simplicity of that first movie. But this was a fun like action movie. If you want to like you know some white noise, you want some just like white noise action film on the TV, you know. They'll keep you entertained for an hour and a half. This is, this is, you'll get that in this. It's not an amazing movie, but I'm not like saying I hate it or anything. It's just not as good as the first, but I do like how they set up for the third one in the end. I thought that was kind of cool, but yeah. So overall, I would give this a seven, but uh, I would say check it out if you want to anyway. It's not like if it's bad, if you, or you think it's bad, it's not like you're going to lose anything. It's just a, a fun action movie. But other than that, um, let me get started here on the review. Movie opens up. We see Ray Breslin still doing um, his uh, um, prison stuff. And then basically his team has to rescue a hostage in Chechnya. 
<coughs> one of his oper operators, uh, Kimbrall, I think that's his name, um, he's using his, like, high-tech algorithm to help with the mission, but it ends up fucking up and getting uh, the hostage killed, and as a result of it, he is fired, and then, um, basically, 50 Cent's also in this, but he's kind of, like, the only leftover character from the first one is really him. But you only see him, like, scattered throughout the film. He doesn't feel like he's part of the team, really, in this one. Like, he's just kind of there. But, but uh, so, um, basically, Shu, one of um, Breslin's um, operatives, decides to, um, has to do something with his brother, so he, he tells Breslin, and then he goes... And then he helps his brother fight off some masked men, but they end up getting kid basically beat up and kidnapped. They wake up in Hades, the prison, and they ba he basically gets informed they've been locked there for months. And basically the subplot really is that I guess Yu Shang, think is Yu Shu's brother, um basically um Basically has, like, he has this business or a corporation, and then basically he wants money from it. It's like, I think there was just too much going on, and I think the other problem I had with this one, you didn't really know who the bad guy was. I mean, yeah, they drop it later on that Kim Brawl was the bad guy, like, where he, he's admitted, he's basically revealed to be the, the guy who actually runs the prison, even though he starts off playing off like he, he was captured. So I thought, I get they were trying to go for, like, a shocker, but I think they should have just kind of did, like, the last movie where you just had a bad guy, you know? They didn't, like, try to, to fool you, oh, he's a good guy now. Like, it was so, I think the problem was it was predictable because he got fired at the beginning of the movie. So it's like, okay, yeah, he's a bad guy. Like, And I also just don't think he had any presence as the villain when he was revealed. So... Basically, he tells him what's going on. He starts a prison fight. Shu um, wins the prison fight. Basically, this prison it forces the forces the inmates to fight each other. And while this is going on, Breslin and the team are trying to figure out like their location and try to get in. And I do like Batista's character, but I kind of, as much as I don't like Batista now as a person. I do think it would have been cool to see more of his character in this. I thought he was kind of cool. And even in, like, the promos, he looks like he's one of the major roles. He really doesn't. Like, there is a big... There is a scene where he and, um... And, uh, Breslin have, like, a shootout with some guys. I thought that was a cool scene, um, early on in the movie. Get a little shootout. But I feel like he should have been the one that went to the prison. It didn't... It was kind of weird. It should have been Chu and Batista the, who went to the prison. It just, I feel like that tweak would have worked better. Because I feel like Batista just kind of was just scattered throughout the film. Basically, his role was trying to help get, uh, locate the people. So, basically, I'll just kind of jump ahead a bit. Um, Breslin finds a location and gets himself transferred. Um, I thought this scene where it was... I think it was Shu, Cabral, and um, somebody else get beat up by... Basically, they were all jumped by the other gang members. And yeah, it's, no, not Cabral, because he was revealed as the bad guy at that point. So yeah. But yeah. we Like I said, there were some cool fight sequences in that sequence where Cabral and his friend got beat up by the inmates. It was kind of sad to watch, because like, it was just... He was getting jumped. Like, ba like they had no chance, because it was like basically him... To the, them two against like a bunch of people and just Jim Brawl watching basically he um, revealed himself to be the bad guy and that after you know getting fired he runs this place and basically made the prison so that it's inescapable and it's basically run by like a like an AI system kind of thing and so Breslin gets himself transferred and basically I'm just because this movie, and I also think the movie has kind of weird pacing, where I think some scenes just kind of go long. But um, the sequence, though, where Stallone gets beat up was kind of sad. 
I definitely kind of sad because I love, you know, I'm a big Stallone guy. And, he, and it was just him versus, like, it was him by himself, and yeah, he gets jumped in. Um, but while this is going on, Chu Breslin starts in, um, they start, like, making friends with some of the inmates to help them. Kind of like the same deal from the last movie where they make friends with some of the prisoners to help stage a breakout. They get some weapons, get a big shootout in the end. Um, Breslin confronts, uh, confronts Kimbrall while, uh, Shu confronts the zookeeper, who's like a guy you kind of see throughout the film. The reason I didn't really mention him, he was such a non-character. He was just kind of there. He was like the main heavy, I guess, for the, for the, like the villain. He didn't really have a, a purpose. And a lot of times, like, and I'm not saying action movies, you need to always have a character, but he just, even like, just kind of, he didn't even kind of have a character. He was just there. And yeah, he has a fight scene with Shu, which was good. Um, but Shu basically kills him with the, the stabs him with the, his knife, his own knife. And then Kim Brawl loses the fight against, um, Breslin. They escape the prison. And basically it sets up for the third, um, escape plan. Which I thought that scene was kind of cool. The way it sets up. The way it sets up for, uh, the finale, but... Overall, this is a fun movie. Like, it knows what it is. Like, it's a fun action movie for an hour and a half you can kind of put on. It feels like one of those B action movies, definitely. Even with Stallone in it. Um, I would have liked more Batista, definitely. I thought he, his character was kind of cool. The little scenes you would see throughout the film with him was pretty dope. The action was dope. And I think if you can get at least the action right, I can kind of almost... At least you're going to get a six... For, for your action movie for me. At least a six, starting there. I, I kind of think I'm going to give it a like 6.5. I think there was some good, but there's definitely some bad. I think the story was overly... They should have just stuck to the simplicity. Maybe it should have been Ray. I did like the Shu character, so I would have been fine keeping him. It should have been Ray, Shu, and Trent, Batista's character, going to like maybe a bigger prison. And that's it. I think that's what the story should have been. And it got a better bad guy. Kim Brawl did not work for me. He was just kind of there. He didn't stand out or anything like that. So, but other than that, um, I definitely recommend it if you just want like an action movie you could watch in the background, maybe while you do stuff. But yeah, um, I'm gonna take one more hit and uh, get ready to do my. Uh, other video. <coughs> but yeah, guys, I'm not going to do an outro. I'm just going to say I'll talk to you guys in a second. Peace.